In the last video, we saw how simple it is to create and run a basic React application using Create React App. Now, at the same time, it is also really important to understand the files and folders involved and how the control flows when you run the application. Let's take a look at that in this video. I have opened the Hello World project in VS Code and you can see that at the root level, we have three folders and four files to begin with. Let's start with package.json. This file contains the dependencies and the scripts required for the project. You can see that we are using React version 16.5 and that is listed as a dependency. We also have a few scripts to run the application, build the application, or even run tests. Now, based on whether you have just npm or yarn as a package manager, you're going to see yarn lock or package lock files. They simply ensure consistent installation of your dependencies and you don't really have to worry about them. We also have a git ignore and a readme file. Next, let's talk about the folders. The first one is node modules, and this is the folder in which all the dependencies are installed. It is generated when you run the create react app command or when you run npm install. The next folder is the public folder. This folder contains three files. Out of the three, manifest.json is concerned with progressive web apps which is out of scope for our discussion. We have the fav icon, which you see in the browser tab, and this is nothing React specific. So as a beginner, you only have to concentrate on the index.html file. The index.html is the only HTML file you're going to have in your application. We are building single page applications, and this is it. The view might dynamically change in the browser, but it is this HTML file that gets served up. Typically, you're not going to add any code in this file. Maybe some changes in the head tag, but definitely not in the body tag. You want React to control the UI. And for that purpose, we have one div tag with ID is equal to root. At runtime, the React application takes over this div tag and is ultimately responsible for the UI. Please make a note of this div tag and we will come back to it shortly. The next folder we have is the source folder, which is the folder you will be working with the most during development. The starting point for our React application is index.js. In index.js, we specify the root component, which is app component, and the DOM element, which will be controlled by React. The DOM element in our example is an element with an ID of root. And if you can recollect, this is the element in our index.html file. We call this div element as the root DOM node because everything inside it will be controlled by React. For the Hello World application, the app component is rendered inside the root DOM node. That brings us to the app component, which is present in app.js. This is also the file we edited in the last video and is responsible for the HTML displayed in the browser. In other words, the app component represents the view which we see in the browser. With app.js, create react app also generates a CSS file for styling and a test.js file for unit tests. The CSS file contains classes which are applied in the app component and the test file contains a simple test case. We also have an index.css file which applies styles to the body tag and the logo SVG, which is referenced in the app component. Finally, we have service worker, which is again concerned with progressive web apps and can be ignored as a beginner. So that is the folder structure of a React application created using create react app. When you run the command npm start, index.html file is served in the browser. 
index.html contains the root DOM node. Next, the control enters index.js. React DOM renders the app component onto the root DOM node. The app component contains the HTML which is ultimately displayed in the browser. Now then, I have mentioned the word component several times already. But what exactly is a component? Let's understand that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.